seriousness like life is a thought and this thought creates a feeling and if you create the feeling of seriousness then you're in a very serious state you are liable to have stress and strain and sickness and unhappiness and jealousy and everything else because of seriousness now seriousness doesn't help you do anything in life but destroy yourself and to me whenever I heard that it really resonated with me because I could just see it all the time in every moment to moment experience in life all I'm ever up against is my seriousness and then in this extreme situation of lockdown I could see everyone else was in it too and but I knew but I guess for me I knew that it would pass and I knew I could I I I I guess because of my understanding, I had a very different relationship to the people I was. And, and I just saw there was something, a real possibility in sharing that with people that you, that just because things, life is serious response to your serious thinking and, and so serious circumstances. I'm so profound with going to them every amazing. year and I knew lots of people that I knew that there, you know, lot, there, had, there were lots of people with amazing stories to tell that I felt could really help people at this time and so at three in the morning when I woke up and I was like and I had this idea and I started writing it at three in the morning what I was going to do and the vision for the book and actually it stayed true to that that was in July it was two years ago now in July 2020 so then obviously it took time because of my slightly busy situation <laughs> to be able to do anything about it and then, and then in November, I started having conversations with people to see what they thought and if they'd be interested in writing. And for me, I think it was really interesting that I decided to be a women's book because it's not something I would naturally say or write a book of women's stories for women. But I've had very profound experiences in women's groups. You know, being in Terry and Toby Waltz's women's group at Tacoon every week and taking my baby along when I first had babies and being in a separate room and having really profound experiences there. But also, more recently, I got involved with a, a Jewish Muslim women's network called Nisan Nishim. And I found, it's really funny, I got involved with them. And then I once said, oh, you know about online groups. Why don't you do an online group? And then I was on What the F is the Principal's Facebook group. And I found a Muslim teacher. And I approached her and said, would you like to be part of Nisan Nishim with me? And we can set up an online group for mums in a similar situation with us. Or women in a similar situation may not be able to you know, go out as easily. And that was before lockdown. So we set up a group called Essence as part of the network. And originally we were talking about festivals and reflecting on the true meaning for us. And now we're talking about life stages. But during lockdown, they asked us to run wellbeing sessions for their network. And so that's what we've been doing every month for the last two years. And really it's a drop-in space for women and we really don't have an agenda. People just come, you know, we say, oh, what brought you here? And we just respond to that. And it's always uh, just such a beautiful experience <laughs> and we never know what's going to happen. And somehow it's always it's like I can't I can't tell you it's, it's a really miraculous space. And, and so I really saw the power in that. And that's why I think in the end, I felt there's a power in women's stories. And there's also, you know, from reading a lot of Elsie's book, there's a real power in having short chapters. And in fact, I, I, I did a word. I'll sadly admit I did a word count on her chapters. <laughs> long it should be so I figure that's as much as people take before they get full and that's what I put in my brief to people and that's when I started speaking to people and yeah it's been a really special experience and I really could have and and, and I, it's funny I had a list of people I wanted to ask and then people said oh what about this person and what about this person? so I met some incredible women and I got quite addicted to the conversations but I realized I had enough for a book and I had to stop really grateful for the incredible honest and beautiful sharing that people have put in the book and we've got a real range we've got a poem we've got several beautiful creative writing pieces and then we have personal stories and they really cover all aspects of life from menopause to relationship so health issues mental health relationships addiction and also our place in the world so we've got stuff on climate change and and other issues like that and also people's work life so hopefully it's covered Obviously, we can't cover everything with 28 people, but we've covered quite a lot. So hopefully there's something in there for everybody.